This is going to be a quick video about open chords versus movable chords. And when I say open chords, I'm talking about chords that have an open string ringing in them. So typically when you're a beginning guitarist, those are the first chords you learn. And they're down here on the first, second, and third frets, typically, like your A chord, your C chord, your D chord, E, and then you have G, your seven chords, A7, D7, E7, the dreaded B7 chord. And the thing that I never learned about these open chords is, when I was first getting started, is that these chords are related to much more useful, movable chord shapes. So for example, the C chord is related to this shape here, that you can place on different frets. So by learning that shape, it's much more useful than learning just an open chord shape. But they're related, and that's what this video is about. Take a look at this open E chord that I'm making. I'm using my first, second, and third fingers to make the shape. So that is what I learned when I learned to make this open E chord. Now if I move this shape anywhere else on the fretboard, it's not the same chord. In fact, it's only really useful maybe elsewhere on the, if I use like a three note shape, like the three notes that I'm actually fretting. Because if I put it anywhere else, you know, in most cases it sounds terrible. A few frets it sounds like a cool chord, but the point is it's a different chord than the original chord I made. With the exception of if I do it 12 frets higher here, it becomes an E major again, but these three notes are an octave higher than they were in this shape, so still it's a different chord. Same thing if you take a look at the C chord. You move that C chord shape, and it's pretty much useless anywhere else. It's not, just because you slide it up doesn't mean it becomes a D chord, or another chord that you might expect. So I spent my time learning these fingerings of these open chords, but it turns out they're really only useful in one position, which is the open position. Now take a look at this major bar chord that I'm making. Since I'm barring all the strings, I can take this shape and place it on any fret, and the relationships of the notes that I'm fretting stay the same. So this kind of chord is a movable chord, as opposed to an open chord. So by learning this chord, I have a chord that is many times more useful than the open chord because it can be placed on any different fret without changing the shape. So I learned one shape, but I could apply it to any different fret. Now the thing to realize about the open chords that you've learned is that each of them are related to a movable shape that you can use. Now you may have to change how you finger the chord, or include a bar in many cases, but it's important for you to realize this fact because it adds much more value to the open chords that you know. It's a good exercise if you're new to chords to take a look at your open chords and try to figure out what movable shape they're related to. Now let's go back to this open E chord. If you notice the shape that this chord makes across all six strings, you can see that it's the same as this bar chord shape. So this bar chord here is the same as this here. So in other words, the nut here is doing the barring for you. So this shape here is related to the E chord. Likewise, if you look at this open A minor chord, it's related to this minor shape. Okay, this minor bar chord shape is the same as this A minor shape. So the point of this is when you're studying chords, whether open or movable, think about what the chord would look like if you tried to move it out of the open position. So that A minor, if you need to move it up, what shape would you have to make to be successful? Or if you're learning a movable chord, like for example this major chord, how would it look if you had to make it in the open position? So you, it would be like that. So this practice will help you get the most out of your chord studies. If you can relate your open chords that you already know probably to the movable shapes that they're related to. Here's some examples of some open major chords and the movable shapes that they're related to. All the red circles are the root notes that can be found on these chords.